Hi, Lee Ellis here with your monthly Leading with Honor Coaching. You know, recently several people have asked me about leadership influence and how do you gain influence. I was in a setting recently, some young people were interested in that subject. And I've been thinking about it a lot. Coincidentally, there's a novel, The Shack, that's now just come out in a movie. And the main character, Mackenzie, is having a discussion with the Trinity about influence and power and authority versus relationships. And the Trinity explains to Mackenzie that relationships are far better for leadership than using power and authority. Power and authority rules out of fear. Relationships rules out of love and connection that makes people feel bad and important and therefore has much more uh, strength to influence others than power and authority. But our first thought when we think leadership is about power and authority. So there's some issues there with that. You know, in today's workplace, employee engagement is a very important buzzword. We hear a lot about it. Some of the statistics I've seen are that 70% of the people who come to work every day are not committed to giving their full best performance. And as many as 52% are really not engaged at all, and 18% are actively disengaged. Well, engagement is about relationships. In fact, Gallup's research shows that that the reason people leave their work, good, good people leave a job, primarily is the relationship with their immediate supervisor. So when you stop and think about it, relationships are important. Now, over the years, we consistently survey the training groups that we're in and the consulting work that we're doing. We survey leaders. A lot of these are very results-oriented, very strong, powerful leaders. We ask them, What's the characteristic of your best leader ever? Think of your best leader and what made them so good for you. And 80% of the time, these strong results-oriented people will come back with a relationship attribute. And when we should point that out to them later, it really kind of turns their head around because they are so results-focused, but yet when they remember their best leaders, they remember a relationship attribute. Isn't that amazing? But it really does confirm what we're saying here is that if you want influence, yes, power is important, authority is important, but it should be there kind of laying there on the side. It's not your primary tool for influence as a leader. Relationships are. We need to connect and engage. And that's one of the reasons that uh, I wrote the book, Engage with Honor, Building a Culture of Courageous Accountability, to make it kind of a how-to book for leaders to be able to engage with their people. You know, engagement is so much better than trying to dominate or withdraw. Some people withdraw, some people dominate. It takes a lot more energy, it takes a lot more faith and confidence in your own ability to engage and work through things and build relationships. But it may be a little bit slower at times, but in the long run it always works so much better because you're building a relationship as you engage. Now you think about the younger generations coming in today, they're not too keen on power. They were raised in an environment where their parents were not using power and authority very much. They were leading in the home more by relationships, so that's what they're accustomed to. And if you really want to be effective with this younger generation, you build a relationship with them. I was in a situation just recently with many young people, and I noticed that they didn't seem to be too impressed with power but they were impressed and wanted to be connected in relationships. So leaders, if you want to influence, engage, build relationships, and get to know people in a way that makes them feel bad and important, and you will have the influence that you need to do your work. And what's really important to you, maybe, and to me too, and to all of us is that better relationships get better results. And better results means mission accomplishment. It means success. It means accountability comes through. It means responsibility. And all the good things that we results-oriented people want happen really so much easier when there's also the relationship there leading the way. Well, I hope you will take this to heart and go practice engaging, building a relationship, reaching out. I think you'll see the value of it. Well, good luck, and we'll see you next month.